Hey guys, it's Trudy. It is just about seven o'clock in the morning. I've just been in the process of doing my morning devotion. <laughs> this is my wake up phase. Still have all my night dress. But as I was just contemplating on just some things that I've you know bringing before the Lord, this is what really just came to me. Daily bread. Daily bread. Jesus taught us to pray. Give us this day our daily bread. Now, when the children of Israel left Egypt, God gave them daily bread because every day they had to go out and collect the manna. It didn't last overnight. The only time it lasted overnight was, the, was for the Sabbath. Every other day, if they tried to collect extra and hold it over, it would turn to worms. So here's the thing. They had to learn to count on God for daily bread because that's the only food they had. And they were only going to have it because God gave it. And here's the thing. They had to collect that manna on a daily basis. So here's the thing. Give us this day or daily bread. Give us. God is the giver of that bread. Okay, so when Jesus taught us to pray, guys, and he says, I'm, and I'm speaking to, to those of you who have financial needs or you need something from the Lord, but especially in the area of money, okay? God is the giver, okay? Give us this day our daily bread. God is the one who's giving us the bread and he's going to give it to us on a daily basis. And what he's sending is what you need for the day, which means if you receive that, you have to understand there is no lack because the Bible said that those who collected what seemed to be a little, it was enough for them. Those who collected what seemed to be a lot, it was still enough for them. Each person had enough. So, if we receive that God is the giver of the bread and that he is giving us exactly what we need, he's giving it to us daily, daily, okay? Guess what, guys? If you fail to go out and collect the bread that God has set out for you, who exactly is to blame? Because the collection part of the bread is our part. And when we go, when we receive the fact that the collection part is our part, it does two things to us. One, we demonstrate the expectation of the bread, which is a demonstration of our faith, that we have the faith. The second thing is that we take an action in order to receive that gift. We step out in faith. Having the faith is one thing. Stepping out in faith is another. This whole thing about positioning ourselves. To receive that blessing is something that I'm studying right now because I just got done reading yesterday about um, when the children of Israel, there was some war and the king went, oh God, please help me. And he says, position yourself. And then when they looked, there were corpses everywhere. They didn't have to take an action. When he told them to march around Jericho, the walls came down. He is asking us to put to have the faith and then take an action that demonstrates we have that faith. We step out in faith, but we don't have to do the heavy work. Okay, the walls of Jericho came down without them striking one blow. Those corpses appeared on the field of their enemies, their enemies' corpses, without them shooting the first arrow. Okay, but when it comes to our daily bread, it is there, but we still have to go and collect it. You need to go and collect it. So when it comes to the abundance that God has for us in general, this still remains true. This principle remains true. Okay. God is not about to take us out of our condition, our present condition of a slavery to a horrible master. For some of us, it's the credit cards and the debt that we have. He's not about to take us out of that to just let us flounder and die. And as we sojourn from where we are to where he is taking us, there will be a desert place, guys. There will be a desert, but God is still with us in that desert place. And he is still giving us everything that we need. There is no lack in that place. There is no lack in that place. But he wants us to depend on him and to demonstrate that faith. Not only by saying we have it, but by positioning 
ourselves. So I just wanted to leave that with you today because this is just, ah, wow. All right, so Trudy Behrman here. I'm super simple to find at trudybehrman.com. Listen, guys, uh, I do have a course for those of you who are still not at that place where you are able to see that the Bible is so full of right now relevant practical strategies for us to really be powerful in this place and to to really you know especially as entrepreneurs to do what we need to do there we have a manual we have a resource and a lot of you are just not reading it right or reading it at all so i do have a, a course the link will be in the in the description area below for you um go ahead and check that out and um thank you for joining me today